Jacob, um, Tuesday night, Hartlepool, Papa John's Trophy, talk us through that one. Yeah, um, looking forward to it. It's another opportunity to get another win and, and further on. And um, I'm just like, the team's nice and strong and everything. We're looking sharp in training and everything. And we're, we're prepared, we're ready. We're ready. How much are you looking forward to this one then? Because we didn't start off fantastically well in this group, obviously losing out to Everton under 21s, but it gives us a really good chance now, doesn't it, to, to hopefully get three points and, and kick on in this group? Yeah, definitely, especially with uh, with Jonah back. That's bolstering our attack, which is good. Um, but yeah, we're, we're looking really strong. Um, brilliant group of lads. We're all working together, working hard every day, and everyone just looks nice and sharp. So we're ready to give this a good go. It helps as well now, obviously, with Saturday's game against Cambridge being postponed, that we've got a, a nice little fixture to keep us ticking over, getting minutes into yourself and other players who are coming back, like you said, Jonah, as well. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely, it's, it's really good. Like, if we didn't have this fixture, it'd be a bit harder going into the next uh, next couple of weeks, but now that we've got this fixture, it's a good good one to tick over with. It also helps as well, doesn't it, some of the young lads like Connor Pye and Freddie Price getting the opportunities to show the manager that they, they are part of this first team the yeah, I can make a big difference as well. Yeah, definitely. Like you've you've got to think about the the youth coming through as well. As well as all the other players, you've got to think about the youth and this is the perfect opportunity for them to showcase what they got. So def definitely looking forward to it. They'll they'll all be buzzing for it for the opportunity to play. And obviously it helps as well, doesn't it? Because majority of the under twenty three teams as well that come in from the Premier League also get the chance to play in front of fans and it'd be the same if them two lads were playing in reserve football, it gives them a taste of men's football, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, it's nice it's it's much more realistic than under twenty threes football and everything. You want to be playing in front of crowds, you want it to feel natural, feel good. So they'll definitely enjoy it, they'll love it. It takes them to some getting used to, but once once they're enjoying themselves playing well They'll, they'll do well. How big of an opportunity is this for you then to, to push yourself forward, maybe give the manager a bit of thinking space for the time that next League One fixture comes Yeah, about? definitely. I'd like, obviously, from my point of view, I want to give him a headache. And uh, this, is the, this is the way that I'll do it, like getting this opportunity and just show, show him what I can, I can do, what I'm capable of. So hopefully I'll give him a headache. What do you think about Hartlepool then? Obviously, it came up from the National League last season look like they're a decent side in League Two as well, just outside the top half of the table. They started really well, haven't they? Yeah, 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 they have. I remember playing them last season for Weymouth um, and they did look strong. They, they, they're they a well-drilled team, physical, so we know what to expect. Um, but yeah, they're doing they're doing decent. You kind of just hope it's going to be a nice plain sailor in the evening, no weather, <laughs> dead squirrely balls all over the place. <laughs> yeah. It's not been the best of weather lately, has it? No, 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 especially up in Newcastle way. Oh, no. Nah. No chance, it's always going to be a scramble.